So I haven't posted in a while um, and this is why our little girl arrived on the 13th of June weighing nine pound six ounces. Yes, this is my first baby. Um, <laughs> so you can imagine the shock of having a baby that big. Um, yeah, I don't even know where to start this video. Um, I guess I should do like a birth story or I don't even know so much has happened um it's been like six months since I posted um thank you for all the lovely comments some people saw through Instagram that we'd had the baby and um said congratulations which is so lovely um so thank you and can't wait to get back to posting so Olivia is now five weeks old um she'll be six weeks old on Thursday it's Monday right now um we are so in love with her she is perfect I mean I know everybody thinks their baby's perfect but she really is a good baby um she only cries if she's hungry or wants a nappy changing or she's got trapped wind um so so far so good no colic um quite sicky but um that is just babies um so yeah I just don't even know where to start um the birth went amazing so well I say amazing amazing until the very end um but my last video was a first trimester um like vlog thing and I w very much intended to do a second trimester and third trimester vlog and then I seemed to be at the hospital so much that I didn't even have time to do videos anymore um and it was all consuming like the worry about getting here here safely um it just didn't seem um at the time to be like putting into youtube um but now she's here safely i'm happy to be back so in the second trimester i kept going in for reduced movements um and when you go in at my hospital a certain amount of times that triggers a growth scan so when we had the growth scan it became apparent that she was going to be a very big baby and i also had too much amniotic fluid um so she was on like the 97th centile um and the main thing was that her stomach was big um so she was like growing four weeks ahead of what she should be this information then oh sorry baby girl <laughs> Not me too loud. Um, so as I was saying, this information then triggered a um diabetes test, um a gestational diabetes blood test. Um I didn't have that, so then it just was a case of like maybe she's eating the fluid um and like getting bigger because there's more fluid for to like eat kind of thing I don't fully understand the science of it but um basically they said we'll just keep having growth scans she continued to get bigger and bigger um we hit 34 weeks and we had a preterm labor scare um they did like a swab and that came back positive which meant that the swab thought I was gonna have um have her in the next two weeks so they gave steroids for her lungs i got admitted um for two nights and um, they even had us on the labor suite thinking i was going to be giving birth that night because i was having the odd contraction um nothing came of that we reached full term 37 weeks and um, at this point she's still getting really big um so i did initially have a c-section booked because um I just wanted her here safely and uh, the doctors were like big babies can get stuck um obviously we don't know how wide her shoulders are going to be so she could get stuck so i heard that went into panic mode just booked a c-section um but then went home gave it all a bit more thought and just decided i'd rather be induced and really give vaginal delivery a go um it doesn't matter how they come into the world all that matters is that they arrive safe um, but I really did want to try and have her um, that way if I could. Um, so after a four night stay waiting um, for my waters to be broken after being induced with a balloon catheter, um, it was finally my turn. Um, 
and I'm this is literally like a whistle stop tour of the birth because we'd be here all day if I went into every in and out of it but I got my waters broken at nine and she was here like nine in the morning and she was in my arms at 4 29 in the afternoon and the midwives could not believe it for a first baby they were like this is so quick um so I was on the hormone drip um gas and air had an epidural that failed um it only like partly numbed me so I could still feel some stuff um and then everything was going really well it got to 3 p.m and I was writhing around on the bed and the midwife was like well for your first baby like you might still be at three centimeters but we'll check you because you look in a lot of pain checked me I was 10 centimeters and they could see her head um but then they said it's my lunch break now hold her in and we'll come back and you can start pushing um and I just went along with that like yeah okay I'll hold her in um, in hindsight like hell no let's give birth right now so I held her in she came back at four um and after 29 minutes of pushing she arrived um which again was ridiculously quick they basically said if you don't get her out on this push we are gonna have to cut you because her um heart rate was declining so i did the biggest push of my life and she came out the cord was around her neck so they quickly untangled her um and then she was out she was in my arms i was so happy and relieved and i was like yes we've done it she's here everything's fine but then they realized i had torn um but be because she'd come out with her hand like this so she'd basically had her arm next to her head um, and her fingers had torn me in like three different places um and the midwife said she'd never seen a tear like it um which is not a good time to be unique so they then start um like fixing me <laughs> the doctor comes in and everything and they're trying to stitch me up um but it became apparent i was losing a lot of blood um in the end i lost a liter and a half of blood and i had to be packed um with like whatever they put inside you to like clot it um and then i had to go on a high dependency ward with baby girl um so that i could be monitored all night so she was perfectly healthy but um i was obviously a risk for bleeding out um but thankfully i only had to do a one night stay my blood count um recovered really well and we got discharged and we were able to start our baby bubble and honestly, it's been the hardest, but also best and most rewarding five weeks of my life. I feel changed as a person. Um, I feel like I was made to be a mum, um, but not just a mum, her mum. Like I feel like the bond we have is like unreal. Um, every day, she just makes me laugh. Um, and she's getting to a really cute point now where she does real smiles. She'll like grab my face. Um, yeah, we're really like getting to see her personality now, which is amazing. So I'm going to keep this first video quite short and sweet. I am going to do proper um, vlogs and um, lifestyle videos, home content. I still know a lot of people want a house tour from the new build video I did. Um, I absolutely will do that. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of exciting things to come. Um, and I honestly do YouTube from for me, like to look back on the memories and it just keeps me busy. Um, like mentally I like to be busy and obviously maternity leave, um, she sleeps a lot, so I have a lot of time to think, um, which isn't good for my brain. So doing videos and editing editing them <laughs> keeps me busy and happy. Um so yeah, I'm very excited. Um gonna start posting more on Instagram and TikTok as well. So if you want to follow those, um, but yeah, at the end of the day, she arrived safely and I recovered well in the end. Um, so it was magical, like the actual birth magical. It was literally the very end that was less magical, but thank you all for sticking around and I'll see you soon.